What's up guys, your boy Benny. I don't know anything about the sporting world at all. I live a mile from Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium and I don't know who the quarterback is for the team. I don't know what's going on in the NHL, NFL, NBA, or MLB. I don't know who won the last World Cup. <laughs> so when you show me video like this of a what clearly must be a massive sporting event in the state of Michigan last night, um, I wouldn't know which team is playing. Did, it, it, did, the, did the Lions uh, win? Is, is this some kind of like Detroit Pistons kind of thing that's going on here? It's clearly like a massive crowd of Michigan uh, Michiganders uh, gathering for what must be a very successful and very exciting sporting event, right? 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 <laughs> this is the only time you get crowds like this, right? Hundreds of thousands of people in person or online watching. It's got to be, it's got to be a sporting event. It can't be a MAGA rally. <laughs> oh, man. Are they scared now? This, of course, was a MAGA rally. Uh, this is what it looked like yesterday when President Trump and when J.D. Vance took the stage in Michigan. I've never seen energy like this. Now, this was <laughs> this was seven and a half hours before the event. This is what it looked like, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this enormous crowds were waiting Trump's arrival in Grand Rapids, Michigan, seven hours before the doors opened. Look at that. Just a remarkable moment. This is, this is the uh, line to get in. It goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, time to panic for Joe Biden. This is what it looks like when Joe Biden goes to Michigan. Okay, and make sure you punch in as hard as you can here. You could actually count the. You could actually just count the people in attendance. Okay, maybe maybe like five hundred people in attendance, right? You, you you bribe enough people with uh with cigarettes, right? Uh, and 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 chocolate bars, and you can pack them in into a Biden event. Milk of magnesia. This is what it looks like when uh, Donald Trump comes to Michigan. Yeah, when the man comes to town. Look at this photo. This is not a photo of a championship sporting event. This is a photo of a President Trump MAGA rally in Michigan. This footage is absolutely remarkable. The They had to close the doors because the arena was at capacity with over 20,000 people inside. Have you ever seen an arena this packed? I mean, this is, this is just bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden in Michigan is remarkable. One, uh, epic entrance here for President Trump. This is the Trump Vance plane, newly minted right here, Make America Great Again. And the Trump walkout was just epic. President Trump introducing Grand Rapids, Michigan earlier this evening. Check out this footage. This footage is incredible. I, I posted on X, most pro sports teams do not get crowds like this. This is the power of populism. And see if you can notice Donald Trump's beefed up Secret Service. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Donald Trump walking out to the crowds. Check it out, baby. Posted by his campaign. President Trump just absolutely triumphant after, of course, getting the Republican nominee nomination for president, uh, delivering his nominating speech at a uh, a very, very exciting uh, and incredible convention. I just can't believe I can use those words about the RNC convention. Normally a snooze and dork fest. President Trump flossing uh, a brand new bandage for his ear. So you can see the part of his ear that was taken off, the, the, uh, what seems to be the top of his ear. This is consistent, of course, with what President Trump's doctor uh, told us. And then Donald Trump immediately uh, going in and making jokes about <laughs> it's comb over. I kid you not. <laughs> First thing is Trump, ma Trump making self-deprecating humorous jokes about his comb. I have to just interject. If you would turn off those cameras, because I don't want this. See the screen up there of me? That's very severe, that comb over. That's a, that's a severe sucker. What's with that one? <laughs> it looks okay from the other side. But that is very severe.
I apologize. Man, I looked up there. I said, whoa. Look at that. Wow. That's like a work of art. Okay. Trump. Only look at that one. Don't look. That one looks. <laughs> it's Piers Morgan uh, reposting our our uh, commentary on this. Donald Trump roasts himself for severe comb over. Imagine joking about your comb over just days after you were shot in the head. Says Piers Morgan with all laughing emojis. We don't. We don't deserve him. Donald Trump uh, talking about his uh, assassination attempt and what it was like. Look at the great results that we had on immigration. Just look at them. Bing. If I didn't say that, and it's because we had like a crane holding this massive sign, I call it the million dollar sign, that they're expensive. But that sign was very good. I think I'm going to sleep with it tonight. <laughs> Let me sleep with it tonight. I said, what was that? What was that? Ooh, that I looked, I said, that's not good. President Trump also uh, commenting on the assassination attempt, saying he took a bullet for democracy. Man, what a great, what a great comeback line. He's a threat to democracy. I'm saying, what the hell did I do for democracy? Last week, I took a bullet for democracy. What did I do against democracy? Crazy. That's right. Uh, Donald Trump also speaking in Michigan about his love of Elon Musk, uh, saying that he loves Elon Musk. Here we go. And, you know, Elon, I love Elon Musk. Do we love him? I love him. And I'm constantly talking about electric cars, but I don't mean I'm against. I'm totally for them. But whatever the market says, and if it's 10 percent of the market, 12 percent, 7 percent, 20 percent, whatever it is, it's OK. But you can't have 100 percent electric cars. And, you know, so Elon endorsed me recently the other day. Actually, He's great. Elon Musk. He's a brilliant guy. Every time I call him, he's talking about, I got a new idea for a rocket. You have to hear this. No, it's true. So, yeah, all the donor class is turning on Joe Biden. Uh, the, obviously, the country has turned on Joe Biden. Even the deep state is turning on Joe Biden. And now the media is turning on the deep state. It's incredible. Man, it sucks to be a Democrat. Pretty perfectly summed up here. Uh, man, it sucks to be a Democrat right now. <laughs> uh, J.D. Vance also making his first appearance on the campaign trail, uh, talking about Kamala Harris and saying, well, you know what? Uh, what the hell have you done for this country? What a grown <laughs> What a, what a great point. Here's J.D. It's such an incredible, a blessed week. What a, what a cool thing it was to be asked by President Trump to serve as his running mate and to get out there on the campaign trail. But there's some bad news, actually. Um, the, the Vice President, Kamala Harris, she doesn't like me. Ka Kamala Harris said something to the effect that that I have no loyalty to this country. Well, I don't know, Kamala. I did serve in the United States Marine Corps and build a business. What the hell have you done other than collect the check? What? What? What has she done other than collect the check from her political offices? And we have, to, we, have, we have to give her credit, my friends. She did serve as border czar during the biggest disaster open border that we've ever had in this country. Let's get President Trump back there, close down that border, and bring some common sense and security to this country. And of course, we're going to let Donald Trump get the last laugh here, saying, uh, laughing Kamala. Um, yeah, she's crazy. You can tell a lot by a laugh. She's nuts. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump, take it away. And man, it sucks to be a Democrat right now. From the moment we take back the White House from crooked Joe Biden and Kamala, I call her laughing Kamala. 
You ever watch her laugh? She's crazy. You know, you can tell a lot by a laugh. No, she's crazy. She's nuts. She's not as crazy as Nancy Pelosi. Crazy Nancy. Did you see Nancy Pelosi is selling out Biden now? Did you see? She turned on him like a dog. Well, I don't know if he should continue. All of a sudden, where did that come from? She was 100%. All of a sudden, she's not sure. Not sure means he's gone. But, no, she's crazy as a bed bug. She's a crazy person. <laughs> There's the guy that I stood up here. Are you the same guy, the same muscles? Look at that guy. Are you the same guy? Yes? No kidding. It's pretty, pretty good memory, right? Unlike somebody else that I happen to be running against. He wouldn't. Come on. Come on up here. Get up here. I got to get this guy. This guy was central casting. Look at him. Look. Oh, oh. I think he was standing on a box. That was the only thing I said, you got to come on up here. Don't hurt yourself. Can you get him up? I like this guy. He's a serious union guy, a United Auto Workers. You look at him get over there. It's okay. He does not carry guns. He's not, come on up here. Look at him. Look at his shape he's in. Hey, I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see this guy. I told you we're going to get 85 million of us out there to vote for him. So let's go home from this rally and do our part. For the convention, and they have a couple of problems. Number one, they have no idea who their candidate is, and neither do we. That's a problem. But we'll see. Hopefully they get it worked out. Sort of interesting, this guy goes and he gets the votes and now they want to take it away. That's democracy. They talk about democracy. Let's take it away from them. But now we go forward as one movement and really we're doing a very, we have a very special group of people.